You can definitely tell the difference. We have more fun here. Uh, we we work harder, so it's a huge difference. Uh, we actually like him a lot. Coach Sack is more of a family guy, so just kind of the relationship, you know, with the players, you know, with the the coaches' wives, the coaches' kids. You know, you can always see those guys running around the stadium, you know, doing lunches and just being more together. You know, being like more of a family and uh, having like being comfortable with the coach and creating that bond, not just you know coming in here. To go over football, having conversations outside of the football, um, um, hanging out, doing a lot of team events, um, team bonding, um, just being more together. This this year, coaching staff feel more they're more of a family type coaching staff. You know, we hang out with them, we go to their houses, you know, things like that. One thing that this coaching staff harps on is just attitude and effort. And every day when you walk into that building and you bring great attitude and great effort, there's really nothing that you can mess up on. It's, you know, it's just, that whole persona of last year is just slowly and slowly vanishing away. And that's because of this new coaching staff. And it's because of us too for buying in and listening and trusting the new coaching staff. So from January since they've been here to today right now as I'm speaking to you, we're a whole different team. We're Personally, me, I'm a whole different player, mentally and physically. So I just love everything about it so far. So I feel like we're going to be very successful. Is the I've heard communication is that better this year too? Yes, definitely. Just being on the same page, knowing, knowing, <laughs> knowing where the coach's office is, being able to have that that trust in your coach, have, being able to want to come up here, all that stuff, you know, it's just, it's just a whole turnaround, it's a whole upside down flip from last year and I feel like everybody feels that way, everybody loves what's going on, that's why everybody's buying in. Um, just the family oriented feeling, um, you know, last year it felt like it was more like a, a business, like we were already, you know, in the NFL already, man. It was just, you know, all, all serious and it's just all business all the time. And uh, this coaching staff, you know, it's more like laid back in the younger coaching staff. And, you know, we get to have more fun with it and less stress just, you know, to mess up. Um, yeah, so that's really basically the whole thing. And just, like I said, more family oriented. Do you feel like communication is better too? Yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, we can speak up more. And this is a player-led team. Coach Sass said he wanted a player-led team. So the players get to have more of a say-so and um, get to speak their minds, especially the older guys, on what they think, you know, should change or whatever should, you know, go on with the program. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely better communication. Uh, it's definitely been great. The staff is amazing. They, you know, they really take care. They really want to take care of you, and they really want to push you to be your best. So... Communication better too as well? I think so, yes, much better. Communication, you know, with camp life, you know, you were here all the time, but uh, they definitely, they have this new app for us and they kind of lead and like give out like what we do every day, definitely before. Uh, mac and cheese. Um, chicken. Seafood. Oh, just any seafood? Uh, I like fried lobster too. Pizza rolls. Wings. Okay. Buffalo wings to be exact. Favorite food. I can eat everything. <laughs> oh, so just everything. My mom, uh, let's see. Mom's broccoli casserole. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right. You got you to gotta make mom's. No one else can make it, right? I'm on. Yeah. Uh, Friday. <sighs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> Hold on. All about the Benjamins. 
Friday. I am legend. So many good movies. Let's say let's say The Dark Knight. That's a great movie. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Um, intro by Meek Mill. Favorite song. Uh, probably Lil Key on everything. Uh, that's Out of Time by Future. Favorite song. It's Eric, Eric Church. Record year. Record year will say Eric Church. All right. All right. That's a good one. Young Thug, Big Rats. Ah, that's a tough one. Uh, I would say No Vaseline by Ice Cube. Ooh. Okay. 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 And I, it, what, I know about that. I don't know about these young ones here. I don't know. How do you know about that? You're, uh, <laughs> Favorite car and Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Favorite Lamar Jackson. Uh, I'm going to have to go uh, Roman. Teddy Bridgewater. Devontae Parker. Good choice. Right. Can't go wrong with Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Triple H is some. Triple H is so, okay, okay. You, you, I guess would you take his finish and move to as well? Yeah, I have to. I, I like it. Uh, <laughs> uh, what would it be? Uh, oh, probably Puma. Just my name, Puma. Big ticket. Big ticket, okay. Big ticket, keep it simple. Um, Mr. Big Chess. <laughs> I don't know, man. It'd probably be like... It'd probably be like man hands or something. I just probably that'd probably be my main thing choking somebody out, man. I got the biggest hands on the team, man. I don't know. But I just choking somebody out. <laughs> Chokes like a choke slam? Choke slam, choke slam, you know, and get the tap one, two, three. Daddy does. Daddy does? Daddy does. And the finishing move would be the RKO, but instead of like landing on my back, I flip and do it like a somersault so I crush his head. Oh, okay, okay. I'll... Very violent, but you know. Get the job done. Daddy does. <laughs>